What's up guys, Ankle Spankin here, and today we are playing as Ziggs in the mid lane. And we are using his beautiful new awesome skin, the, uh, what is it, the Master Arcanist Ziggs? You know, the Red Mage. Or, I mean, some people, some people have been trying to sell me as the Black Mage, but I'm not buying it, I'm not buying it. Anyways, I actually did want to get this video out a little sooner, but, um, yeah, I get, I, 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 I don't know. <laughs> no excuse, I just didn't do it. Um, that's really all there is to it. And here we are, mid-Monday, busting it out. Seeing, or not seeing, because I've already seen this, but showing you guys just how goddamn cool this shit is. You know what I'm saying? But, let's go ahead and look at the teams real fast while we're getting ready to duke it out on the arena of Summoner's Rift. So, in the mid lane, it's looking like it will be Ziggs versus Twisted Fate. Uh, top lane, looking like it'll be Quinn versus Jace. Bot lane will be Callista Thresh for their team and Janna Graves for our team. With the junglers being Fiddlesticks versus Aatrox. So, we'll see how these all pan out. Uh, looks like Fiddlesticks is actually starting at the Gronkalunk, going straight into the blue face. This guy right here, the blue face. And we'll just, we'll see how that works for him. Because he did start with his mana potions, he'll be starting with the blue buff, he'll have ultimate sustain, and hopefully he'll be able to just farm up really quick and get to 6. Depending on what he levels up first, we may be seeing early ganks, but who knows. So the first time I played Ziggs with this skin, I actually brought Ignite instead of a defensive summoner spell, and I realized after a little while that that was a horrible choice, just absolutely horrid. Um, I was never in range to use Ignite, ever. I think I used it twice during the whole game, but <clears throat> we'll see. We'll see what goes on this game. I am trying heal. We are against a Twisted Fate who is running the um, Ghost Heal, so we'll see how that goes for him. Oh, barely missed my Thunderballs, but let's see the red card coming out. Let's go ahead and just Q right there on those. Push them out a little bit. This man right here will give me to level 2, but it won't really matter. So let's go ahead and just chill. There's his wild cards coming out. Actually getting hit by that rip. And missing both those minions double rip. Right, let's go ahead and get an auto attack off here. Another auto there. And not get hit by that. Epic. Nice. Alright, come here. Eat a bomb. There we go. And that'll show him. So, I'm not really seeing a lot of kill pressure in this lane until I'm 6. Wow, what the heck? Alright, you guys saw that, right? You saw that bullshit, right? That siege man just like knocked itself off and it looks like Xander picking up the first blood up top there a Aatrox popping the blood well will this be a double kill for Xander it looks like a Aatrox running towards him I'm coming I'm coming the blinding shot and never mind he doesn't need me at all the vault up there picking up two kills for himself and since this Quintop that gimmick is going to be working now or at least it should for the rest of this game because he got ahead and now he should be able to pretty easily keep that lead. So we'll see how he handles it and we'll hope for the best. And let's go ahead, get another auto off there. Drop a Q right here, auto this one, auto that one. Let's look at the CS real fast. It is 22-17 at the moment. <clears throat> We're actually one up on him if we look at the waves right now. So obviously not like a huge lead by any means. But a lead's a lead, so we'll take it. We'll take it. And the only thing I really need to be mindful of is the fact that Twisted Fate can spam his abilities a bit easier than I can due to the red card, or the blue card mechanic. And it looks like we got Fiddlesticks coming in. Let's go ahead and knock this guy back here. Drop the fears under his boots and boom! That'll be an easy kill. Thank you, Fiddlesticks, for the easy gank. Just letting him just walk up and set it up perfectly. Beautifully well done. We'll be picking up the kill for me, get the rest of this lane pushed out, and now we can go back. So a fantastic first uh, little bit of time in the lane here. 31 CS going into the fifth minute. Um, <clears throat> not a lot more than Twisted Fate, but still more is more. Let's go ahead and pick up our Chalice and Boots. Since I didn't use any of my health potions, we don't need to pick up more of those. But picking up the Chalice, which will of course be building into Athenes, will help tremendously. So... The reason I'm getting Athenes over Morellos is 
Basically because anytime you have Athenes and you get a kill or an assist, you get so much of your mana back. It is incredible. So it's super useful for champions like Ziggs that just count on spamming damage, poking people out, um, and just generally helping from a long distance. But as far as lane phase goes, hopefully I'll be able to show you guys kind of what's good. I ran right into that wild card. It's nice. Let's go ahead and just see if I can... Oh, I'm not... I'm just barely not strong enough to clear the back wave, or back wave yet with my QE, but we'll be okay. Let's go ahead and move out of the way of that and pick up these minions. So, <clears throat> honestly, usually when you're playing Ziggs, uh, I apologize that it is typically a boring lane phase. Um, not much we can do about that other than try and get you know ridiculously over aggressive sometimes, but overall as a champion, Ziggs just is not bound to have an exciting lane phase. Uh, he counts on farming up, and he counts on, you know, being this super nuker later. And I will be able to show you guys that. It looks like Xander getting ganked, but not giving a fuck. And just getting another kill right there. Let's go ahead and pick up that with the Empowered Auto. Looks like Twisted Fate is not 6, but we are. And he is, he is going off up there. So keep it up, Xander. Look at this guy. So go ahead and throw the Q right there. Get the damage off on him. And just keep on CS and so drop another Q in the back there, get those. 52 42. Fiddle six picking up the dragon, getting that good old early dragon control. Let's go ahead and drop the Q. Not gonna land, of course, because we are trash. Come here! Get auto attacked! Oh. <sighs> Alright, the sick jukes getting out of the way of those wild cards. And let's see here. Alright. Where'd he go? Is he ulting? No, he's not. He's not. I have no idea where he went, but he's not ulting. And boom, baby! Got him! So let's see. We do know that he only has mobility summoner spells, not necessarily, you know, big defensive healing ones or sustaining ones. So we do have that going for us. And, ah, how did that miss? Whatever. Bogus. Bogus, I'm calling the hex. I'm calling him right now. And that's... I mean, I guess that's okay. Huh. Oh, shoot. All right. Huh. Da. Yay! Now my Q's strong enough to one-shot those. Or not one-shot, but kill. Oh, yeah! That'll be some good old damage off there. Let's see. Can I get an ultimate off down here? See if maybe... Yeah, maybe, just maybe I can help out a little bit. Because, let's see. Ankle? Yes? Blue. Ooh, okay. Okay. Alright, let me clear this wave real fast. And then I will be on my way. Okay, go ahead and auto that one. Clear the rest of this, and I think Twisted Fate thinks I went back, so that's good for us. Looks like the hook coming out, Death Sentence will not sentence anything, will be the end of that. Oh, Graves picking up the quick kill on Kelfista, and that will be the blue going out for me, T.Y. And now, I don't really even have a real need to back. Uh, I can back and I can pick up, you know, my little, whatever it's called, my Fiendish Codex, but... There's really no need for me to back whatsoever right now. Now that I have blue, it's so fine. And I can just sit here and poke for days. And that's exactly what I'm going to do. That's how I'm going to create pressure. That's how I'm going to keep this Twisted Fate in my lane. Instead of letting him roam everywhere. Uh, 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 Sander, he's going tap. He's coming tap. So, just make sure Xander knows that Twisted Fate's looking to ult up there. And he is gone. Okay. So instead of ulting up there, he just took the really long way around. Um, I'm guessing that's because he was kind of scared of running back in front of me. But we'll see. So that was nowhere near. <laughs> nowhere near. But a Aatrox is top again. That will hit him. Epic shot. Now let's just keep up the CS for now. We're doing a pretty good job CSing, I'd say. Let's go ahead and drop the E. It looks like, oh, the kill is being dropped up top. Xander picking up one kill in return, but it will not be enough. Oh, I was going to see if Aatrox was within alt range, but he definitely was not. So let's go ahead and look at this. Look at this damage. Look at it. Uh, uh, not going to get him. So drop the minefield right there. Drop the Q. And it's not going to land. Son of a bitch. I'm, I'm just the worst right now. I am just the worst. And, uh, get that. So let's see, ping these missing. He is back. So generally, when I'm playing against Twisted Fates in mid myself, um, I do like to ping 
like that he's missing the second he leaves just so my teammates know to kind of keep an eye out um because he can you know he can get around pretty quickly um and if you're not paying a lot of attention to that that's not good all right let's go ahead and pick up a kill right there boom wait never mind hey -da! get myself out of here and this could be boink wait what are you kidding me how'd that not get him oh wait fiddlesticks where's a trox I don't know. Alright, well the flash coming out from Twisted Fate will get him out of there. Aatrox is not around. Now let's see. Boom. No! No! Damn it! Damn the minion! Damn it, damn it, damn it! Alright, whatever. Picking up those minions. This will definitely be the tower. Maybe going down, but if not going down, feeling some pain. You know, in order for the tower to go down, though, I should probably be auto-attacking it. But... Evading the gank without using my uh, flash, I'm not sure if I would have needed to use the heal, but I definitely didn't need to flash, so I didn't. Just knocked him away from me backwards while I knocked myself further away using my little W, my little rubber ducky. And now I can pick up the entire Athenes, and we can also pick up an amplifying tone, which will build into our Luden's Echo. So it looks like a twist of fate ultimate coming up top. And Xander kind of kiting a little bit here. The TF wild card's coming out. The yellow card has expired. He's going in the blinding shot. Going to only hit the minions. Jay's going in the vault coming out. Getting bopped. One kill going down. But Twisted Fate will pick up the kill with a red card. And putting Jace at 0-4 and 2 will be the end of his life. So as far as mid lane goes, we are winning by a you know pretty substantial amount. Um like I said, Ziggs ends up being a lot of a farm game. Um, shit. My Q missed the minion in my face. But it does end up being a lot of a farm game. Maybe this could be a kill? Alright, dropping the ultimate right there. And come on! Damn it! Alright, I'm coming down. I'm on my way down. I'm, you know, I'm not going to embarrass myself like that and not get it. So hang on, let's go ahead and see this. Where you at? Where you at? He's not in there. Stop it! Ah, shit! Alright, he's so good. He's so good. What? Come on. Alright, well this tower is going to go down. I guess I'm totally embarrassing myself. Like usual. Let's go ahead and drop the Q right there. Just kind of do some damage. Drop another thing right there. Clear that wave and just start hitting these guys. There we go. Level up our minds again. I think I'm going to just back here and get my sorcerer shoes so I can um, move a little faster and have a little bit more damage under my belt. And I am getting close to the point where I can start being annoying. Um, sadly, I haven't done a lot in these first 13 minutes of the game other than basically exactly what Ziggs does in lane. Um, I haven't been poking as much as I could, which is one fault. Um, but that's basically just because I'm bad at landing my cues, so I'm not you know, landing my poke. Um, but as far as farming goes and keeping general zoning off, I am doing a decent job of that, so we do have that going for us. And that's, you know, in reality, that's one thing that Ziggs is really good at. Um, there are two things that Ziggs is super good at. One is sieging, and the other, of course, being um, zoning. Sieging and zoning are what Ziggs just truly, truly excels at. So let's see if I can do something here. It's looking like that will be the knockup going to drop this. And... <laughs> Xander backing off the kill will let me have it. Giving me a blue buff in, um... <laughs> in the process as well. Thank you, Xander, for being a nice dude. Just backing off of that and letting me have it. What a guy. Alright. Oh, no, the wild cards has hit me. And, alright, my Qs will miss. But now we have the blue buff, so I can just throw them all day. And let's drop some mines right there. Keep throwing the Qs. Alright, that one didn't land either. But come here. Come on. Man, I fucking suck this morning. What the hell? Uh! Alright, get vengeance. Oh. oh, wait, Xander coming in. Will it be enough? It will not be. Right, I'm going to stop tanking these minions. I don't really like this anymore. <laughs> pick that one up. Pick this one up. Mm. Get all of that. And even with the blue, just saying my ability so much has... Uh... Okay. 
Okay. Oh, this could be... It. Yeah! Picking up the kill with the bouncer right there will be the end of that. And let's see the ultimate coming up soon. Will it be enough? But look at this poke. I'm going to drop my ward right there. Whoa! All right, I'm flashing. Oh, drop the heal. Get out of there. Oh! Get the fuck out the way! And whoop! Ah! Drop the Qs. And just keep dropping Qs. Oh, God, my ultimates. Oh, my goodness! And boink! <laughs> the perfect little lobs right there. Wait, what the hell? Is 20 to 2? Holy guacamole. Oh, Xander with 100% of the team's deaths, please. I'm totally joking. 4 0 oh, 3, though, here on the Ziggs. It's looking like. I'm not gonna get the I'm not gonna get the best chance to show the other thing that Ziggs does where he like you know wrecks wrecks the sieging and uh oh come on do it I dare you oh shit that's gonna slow me come on no 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 okay I, the fiddle six ultimate dropping the ultimate kaboom that's gonna be some good damage dropping the Q picking up the kill and hey, I'm alive wait is Graves gonna get out? The Darken Blade is the chaser now. Will he be getting anything though? It's not looking like it. Maybe Dark Flight. Is he gonna take flight here any second now? And Dark Flight coming out. There it is. The flash out of it. And he is out of there. So never mind. He's totally fine. So let's get the Aether Wisp and our Needlessly Large Rod. Give us a lot of damage here. And I do actually really like uh, Rushing Luden's Echo on Ziggs. For the reason that it procs so much because you spam so many abilities, and it really helps even more with um, with all of your poke. It's just so much, um, and it's it's truly fantastic. So in my opinion, I think Luden's Echo is a really good choice. But also, another really good choice for Ziggs, of course, all the Needlessly Large Rod items are very, very solid pickups for uh, for any zigs ever but if you want my true recommendations after you get a little bit accustomed to the champion I would actually say to pick up things like Rabadons before Zonias unless you desperately desperately need that Zonias there's pretty good chances oh shit there's pretty good chances though whoa this is gonna be a fight dropping the ultimate right there kaboom that's gonna be one kill and Xander coming in. Will it be enough? The vault and the Q. Or not the Q, but the auto attack. Look at these. Oh, he's right clicking so hard, ladies and gentlemen. He's right clicking so hard. But, anyways, as I was saying, um, generally, you can just pick up Rabadons or something else instead of Azonias. Because, to be totally truthful, if you're in range of. You know, someone in the first place to need to use your Zonias, you're probably not playing Ziggs to the best of your- WHOA! There's a Fiddlesticks ultimate coming in! That'll be everyone going in! And will it be everyone going down though? The Q- WHOA! That was a big hit. Alright. Boink! Go ahead and knock them up. Buh! 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 He's ghosting! Oh god, the vault, and- you Ah! Picking up the kill! Putting me a godlike and uh, boom, another kill. Putting me at uh, who knows what, but double kill and uh, oh no! Oh the shutdown. Wait, come on, come on! Oh no, I was so close. I just wanted to alt their base. I know it's BM. I know it's BM, but I just wanted to alt their base. I really did. I got so excited because the ultimate looks so cool in this skin. But that'll be 8 0 and 6, 148 CS. I could have done better on the CSing, but still not bad. Uh, looks like we did do pretty well there. Yeah! S plus rank, baby! That'll put us at the S plus. Xander with three of the team's four deaths. Good lord. But let's look at the damage. I probably didn't even top the charts. Yeah, Xander definitely beat us by a little bit. But overall, we still did a shit ton. All three of us did massive work. So. Great job, everyone. Um, sadly, I didn't get to display for you guys exactly what Ziggs does 
later in the game, but you just stand behind your team, zone the fuck out of people, poke the fuck out of them, and actually, if you do get a, like, just, just a little practice under Ziggs, you can carry so, so hard with them. I've done it before, that's you know, how I know. But anyways, if you guys enjoyed this video, make sure you like and favorite me out. If you want to, you can follow me on Facebook, Twitter, Twitch, or my second channel. The link will be in the description below. And as always, I love you guys. Hope you have a wonderful day. Peace!